Okay, y'all, uh, I'm gonna try to shoot just a real short video here. Um, I've got an old Nord I on here, a uh, three-ton unit, and she was functified. I actually took off the grate and, and all that good stuff. And uh, what, I, what this video is really all about is I wanted to thank Darvin, what pow, for sending me this HVAC guy from Texas. Um, you know, I've got the SRH2, but this takes it to the next, next freaking level. So what I did, I don't know if y'all can see it or not. Let me try to zoom in a little bit. So what I did was I got uh, I got my refrigerant type, which is R22, and then I got my outdoor dry bulb, which was 73. It's kind of cool here today. Got my indoor uh, return wet bulb, which is 65.2. My suction line temperature at the time was uh, 73. My suction line or my suction line pressure, excuse me, was 73. My suction line temperature is 51, and it was telling me that. Uh, Output form, actual superheat was eight, and that's what I had to start with before I recovered some refrigerant. And the actual superheat, where'd she go? The target superheat is 20.9. Okay, I'm allowed plus or five on a uh, plus or minus five on a fixed orifice system, and it's telling me I need 20.9. And I was right at eight uh, when I before I recovered some refrigerant. So. Uh, I'm gonna let it run for a little while. I've just recovered some refrigerant, and uh, we're gonna uh, go in there and get some calculations and everything. Uh, I'm gonna do a, a low calc on it, so uh, we're just gonna hang with it for a little bit and see how she does. But I'm right there in the ballpark, guys. Uh, says I need 20.9, and I actually used the SRH2 too, and it said I needed uh, 21. So we're right there, guys. All right, y'all.